Volkswagen infotainment systems can be updated in two primary ways, USB and over-the-air. USB updates, mainly for older models pre-2018 using MIB or MIB2 systems, involve downloading a firmware file from the VW website or a dealer, transferring it to a USB drive, and installing it via the infotainment menu. This method is manual and takes 30 to 60 minutes, requiring the car to be stationary. OTA updates are for newer models 2018 onwards, primarily using MIB3, and are delivered wirelessly via Wi-Fi or cellular data. You'll receive a notification on your infotainment screen or VW app, download the update, which is typically one to five gigabyte, and install it while parked. OTA is faster, but needs a stable internet connection and a VW account. OTA updates cover software patches, feature enhancements, and security fixes, reducing the need for dealership visits. As of 2025, OTA updates are available for most VW models manufactured from 2018 onward in major markets like the US, Europe, and China. Map updates are integrated into both USB and OTA updates for Volkswagen infotainment systems. These updates refresh navigation data, traffic information, and points of interest to ensure accurate routing. In 2025, Real-time updates are standard, with offline maps available for data saving. CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility is also ensured through these updates. Updates maintain seamless integration with the latest iOS and Android operating system versions, providing wireless mirroring of phone apps, voice control via Siri or Google Assistant, and safety features to minimize distractions. Looking ahead, Volkswagen is trending towards software-defined vehicles, with OTA updates expected to cover 90% of new models by 2025. Future updates will incorporate AI for personalized maps and predictive maintenance. Sustainability and security are key, with updates including eco-driving tips and cybersecurity patches. By 2030, VW aims for fully autonomous infotainment ecosystems, integrating 5G and 6G for faster downloads, while facing regulatory hurdles like the EU's software updates in vehicles regulation.